Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come here, girl. Hey, we got one. We got one. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> um, in the wintertime, fishing can get a little scarce, you know what I mean? Um, and with that, I kind of want to give you guys some more tactics that you could definitely use if you're in the area or just fishing any pier uh, in the wintertime for that matter. So kind of one thing about pier fishing is that when you get to a pier, it could be a little bit intimidating. Um, one, they're you can catch every and any fish out there, from tarpon to sheep's head. Two, you see all these guys with these buggies and all these rods, and it's like, oh, I need that. Actually, you don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> so in the wintertime, it actually becomes a little bit easier to narrow down the fish that you want to catch. A sheep's head. That is because a lot of the summertime fish have migrated on out, and the wintertime fish are coming in, particularly the sheep's head and whiting. Those are two really key fish to be caught in the wintertime off of pier. Another one, redfish can always be caught. And in the wintertime also, you know, there's some straggler pompanos coming back through. But for this episode, we're gonna focus on how to catch wintertime sheep's head off a of pier and how to catch these guys. Whether, <laughs> whether you're a beginner or a pro, um, if you could even be a pro fisherman, I'm not even sure how that goes about happening. But, <laughs> you know, today I'm fishing with my homie Bod. His first name is James, I call him, his last name is Bodison. I call him Bod. I've known Bod since I was about 10, 11 years old when I was living in Alaska. And I always looked at Bob like a, a bigger uncle um, because when I was living in Alaska, I was always fishing this creek called Six Mile. And I would either, you know, have my dad drop me off all day. And Bob's a huge fisherman. So if he beat me there, more than likely he did beat me there. But if he did, you know, he got lucky and he ended up catching the most fish that day. But he was always looking out for me when we were on these rivers, making sure I wasn't doing no dumb stuff, getting ate by no bears, uh, trying to slap a bear on the butt, something, you know, something wild like that. So it's really, really cool to have known Bod so long and we both are back down here in the same area and, you know, we're still going fishing together and the dude is still schooling me and teaching me a lot about how to catch these sheep's head uh, in the wintertime too. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yo, nah, yo. Come on. Yo, yo, that's the important part. This is gonna make memories. Uh, a lot of people like to use live shrimp however today um, we went and caught a bunch of ghost shrimp and ghost shrimp man they are some ugly looking things and they'll pinch you really really good but they're not easily available they're easy to catch if you have a ghost shrimp catcher but it's not something that they have at the bait store and you have to catch them before you go fishing so we had a bunch of those and he was teaching me a technique so what happens at the pier with all these pylons to choose from it's kind of hard to choose which one is going to have the fish on them so one of the best things to do is bring the fish to you so bod had some leftover oysters i had some leftover oysters in my cooler with sheep's head, they're very well known to eat crustaceans off the pilings, right? So what we did, we crushed the oysters up and we would continuously pour them next to the pylon. Essentially what we're doing is chumming for these fish and bringing them there. 
Um, and once they're there, there's not a fish out there, to be honest with you, that can resist the ghost trap. Oh, I got one, hold up. Look at that one, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yo, bud, I like the boy. We up top, we up top. We up top, I got you, come on. Come on, come on. Holla at you, boy. Come on, get that bill, come on, let's go. Let's go, oh, boy, you already like, come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, holy one, get him. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come here, girl. Hey, we got one, we got one. My man, <laughs> my man, let's go. Circles to the same gang. same gang. We just get to it, we on gang bang. gang bang. Lost some friends to the same thing. Go. Keep a low pro when we maintain. Find us in a loss and we're kicking back. Kicking back. Find you on computers, type it Twitter facts. Twitter facts. You lose a follow, throw a Twitter at. Twitter at. I lose a dollar, bet I get it back. Like a boomerang. My girl likes diamonds, big one shining on a ring ring. I got three daughters, you could bet that they gon' get the same. But they got morals, I'll be damned if they sell up for change. They won't sell out a thing. I lose it all, you bet I get it back by any means. I trust in God, won't be a dollar that can make me change. I got that power, I could get anything. I got that power, I could get anything. Once we started pouring more and more of those oysters in, you could just see all the fish starting to come around the fishing actually starts to pick up. You know, at that point, you've got them there. The other factor that's gonna really, really help set everything off is because of our water clarity and because sheep's head have several, one, they're very, very finicky, two, they have very, very good eyesight. Um, so fooling them is not what you're going to do. You definitely want to feed them, but how do you go about doing that, right? So with this, what we were using was a size four circle hook, 12 pound test leader, and a super, super small swivel with about a quarter ounce, maybe even a little bit less than that, egg weight. Our leader was probably about two, two and a half feet long, right? And now you're probably thinking, why 12 pound test? One, these fish have extremely good eyesight. Uh, two, well, is it gonna break? Yes and no. You know, we were using, we we're also using a seven, seven, six super flexible rod, right? So your drag doesn't have to be locked down to pull these fish. As these fish are pulling against the rod, the rod is actually acting like a slingshot, right? So as they're pulling, they're just pulling the rod down and they're not really taking any drag. So you can kind of like slowly maneuver these fish away from the pylon. You are gonna break some off, but with this kind of equipment, you're more than likely going to get them away from the pylon, bring them to the net, and go ahead and scoop them up like a uh, arcade game. You dig? You know, I've known Bod for the majority of my life, um, and I feel that it's important to keep good people, but more or less people like Bod around you. Um, He's just a really, really dope individual. He's always been there to help me out. I mean, we go way, way back. I'm talking like four flats on a Cadillac way back. And, uh, <laughs> and um, he's just a really down to earth individual who loves to fish. And at the end of the day, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know what everybody else is here for, but I really enjoy getting out with good people, having a beer, uh, in my case, I drink water all day. And having some laughs with some really, really good friends. Um, Bod, my guy, my dude, I appreciate you letting me bum uh, some oysters and some ghost shrimp from you, man. And uh, I'll be doing that the rest of this winter. You can guarantee that. So next time you head to the pier, yo, bang my line, shoot me a text, and uh, I'll bring the six pack, you bring the ghost shrimp. Yo, with that said, man, I really appreciate you guys watching. I really hope you guys got something out of this. And uh, yo, do me that solid. Um, oh, before I go, 
if, yo, let me know if you want to learn how to catch these ghost shrimp for real. Uh, you, you really only need a ghost shrimp catcher, but it's where you find these things at. I'll definitely, yo, if, if I get enough comments back there wanting to know how to catch these ghost shrimp, um, I'll shoot a video out. They're very easy to find, very easy to catch, and an amazing bait. I can almost guarantee you if you use ghost shrimp, you're going to catch a fish, redfish, uh, whiting, uh, sheep's head. You know, every fish is trying, red snapper, they're all trying to eat these things. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, let me know in the comments. Yo, remember in 2021, stay solid to yourself, stay 100 in your heart, and I promise you everything will be all right. You dig? <laughs> Yo. I dig that. Whew, that's good. Let's go.